What's up everybody, Greg here with Lens Pro To Go and welcome back to day four of our Cine Lens test of the Schneider Xenon Full Frame Primes. Today we're gonna to be checking out the 75 millimeter lens, doing all the same tests like we've done before, so flaring, breathing, bokeh, edge distortion, and sharpness. Again, all of them will be time coded in the description below if you wanna jump ahead to anyone specifically. The camera we're using is the Ari Amira, we're shooting in 4K UHD, all the specs will be in the description as well if you wanna check those out. So let's get right into the first test of the 75 millimeter lens. Checking out the flaring on this lens, we have the light in the center of the frame and we're just gonna pan and tilt around so you can see how it affects it from different angles. You can see right off the bat, we get that really big rainbow effect. And then throughout the rest of this in the corners, you're not really seeing it too much. So you only see that rainbow as we get towards the more contrasty areas and the darker areas of the frame, not so much on that like white ceiling. So again, down the bottom here and then tilting back up to center, you can see that really big rainbow effect. Again, very different from the last three lenses that we've looked at, which is pretty interesting to say that this is a whole set, but they all have this very distinguishable flare difference between them. We're gonna do the same thing, just going with the light outside of the frame and then panning and tilting around. This lens doesn't flare nearly as much as the rest of the lenses in the set, but it looks really good and I really like that rainbow. It's smooth, there's not too many hard or sharp edges, which is great. Next up, we're gonna take a look at breathing, and this is just racking focus from close focus all the way to infinity. This lens, just like the Redstone in the set, have done a really good job at controlling that breathing. There's a little bit of movement around, and that's just me bumping the lens. I forgot to get a follow focus when I was testing this out, so it's all done by hand. But it looks really great, and I can tell you that there is almost no breathing in this lens, which is fantastic. Next thing we're gonna look at is the edge distortion and sharpness. We're at a T2.1, which is wide open, and we have a really sharp image across the whole frame, going from side to side. 75 millimeters, we're not seeing really any distortion, and like I said, that sharpness stays locked through the whole frame. It's not shifting back on the edges, like we saw with the Xenar 3s, which is pretty interesting, this being a cheaper lens. But it is designed for a full frame camera, so I bet if we were on a bigger sensor, you might see a little bit of that towards the edges. The last thing that we're gonna take a look at is the bokeh. We have our chart set up seven feet, six inches away, and we're going through the aperture range from closed down all the way to a T2.1 wide open. We get some really smooth bokeh in the background. We're getting a little bit of distortion on the edges. You can start to see the shapes go a little bit oval, but in the center, they're very circular. They look super good. A really smooth light across the whole thing. You're not getting that really bright highlight edge or a dark center. The bokeh of this lens looks really solid. And that's gonna do it for the lens test of the 75 millimeters Xenon full frame prime. If you guys wanna try out this lens for yourself or learn more information, make sure to head on over to lensprotego.com. I'll throw a link to that in the description below. And if you guys are enjoying these lens tests and this lens series, make sure to leave a like, let me know you wanna see more of them. Also subscribe for new videos every week and I'll see you in the next one.